Okay, this is what we'll be making today. This is a rump steak and cheese pie. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Let's get cooking. So today, I'm going to be trying to make the best steak and cheese pie that you will ever taste. Or that I will ever taste for that matter. So I've got these beautiful cuts of rump steak here and I'm going to just get rid of the fat, cut it up into cubes and then I'm going to put it in a saucepan with some beef stock and cook it until it's just about falling apart. Um, and this is going to be basically the basis of our pie. I'm not going to put too much else into this. Um, I might be putting some seasoning in to draw out the flavour of the beef um, so that we get as much beef flavour in there. Uh, and I'm going to use an Edam cheese uh, to put in with the pie so that we have this beautiful steak and cheese thing going on. And I've got some pre-made puff pastry. Basically this is going to be stunkin'. This is going to be such a good pie. So I'm going to put, cut this up, put it into my saucepan with a bit of oil and some beef stock and I'll come back then and show you. Alright? And there you have it all chopped up. So, let's get it into the saucepan. And we're just going to um, brown the steak and then I'll put some uh, some beef stock in here and that will lift the caramelized beef off of the um, the floor of the saucepan okay so I put the um, beef stock in here this is going to sit and just boil away for mm, hour and a half two hours and we'll, we'll, we'll visit it every now and again well I will I, I don't know whether I'll bring you along but if you're well behaved well I will hmm. okay it might be quite hard to see that because it's quite a gloomy day here but the only thing that I have down here is I put in a, um, a tablespoonful of gravy mix to thicken up the uh, beef um, uh, the, the beef stock and that's brought it to a nice thickness and I've added some ground black pepper and that tastes absolutely delicious so we're now going to put it inside some pastry so we'll make the pie up now um, I'm just going to do one for now so that I can get it in the oven and um, and I can eat and I can show you it uh, and then we'll, we'll come back once um, I've got the pastry out ready to make okay right so here we have our pastry that I've cut out hopefully that's going to stretch a bit so it's going to fit inside these pie tins uh, as soon as I've done that, I'll fill them up and um, we'll put the top on them. I'll come back to you when I'm about to put the top on. So this is just a, a simple uh, flaky puff pastry um, that you can buy in sheets. And I'm just going to get this beautiful beef in here oh gosh I 
really looking forward to that. Look at that, beautiful chunks of rump steak. Wow. And when you cook these, put them in the bottom of your oven. Right? Because we don't want the bottom not cooking properly. Okay. Right, now we've got our grated cheese. I'm going to put on the top here. <laughs> and now for our lid and we'll just crump that together like that beautiful and now what I'm going to do is make some sort of air holes so that it doesn't try and squirt out the side. Right, I'm going to pop that in the oven um, for about 35 minutes I would say at 180 degrees. So we'll come back and have a look after that. Ooh, I'm excited. So here's our pie straight out of the oven. I'm not sure if... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is one really beautiful pie. Let's get on that and we'll get that on a plate and we'll cut it in half, see what it looks like, eh? Right, let's um, cut this baby open. Yeah, that pastry. So crusty. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to camera off the tripod so you can see this. This is beautiful. <laughs> look at that, folks. Look at that. That is one beautiful steak and cheese pie. I really hope you try this at home. I'm now going to tuck into it and have a bit of a taste, all right? Catch you on the next... Oh, no, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll keep filming uh, while I taste it. Right. The, oh, wow. It's a monster. It's just so beautiful. Get some of that. And I'll just get a little bit of the cheese. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Mmm. I will <laughs> catch you on the next recipe.